Hey ADF fans, let's build a little data flow today that is primarily going to use code snippets that we have in our code library under Dataflow script. Okay, so I'll put the link to the documentation in the description for the video. Let me just quick go to that web page here and you'll see that under Dataflow script we talk about what the script behind the graph actually looks like. And we have some snippets that you can copy and paste, you can add into your data flows to give you functionality without needing to build it yourself. So there's two recent ones we've added. We have the ability to look for nulls in any column in any row in your data and to bring out distinct rows to essentially eliminate duplicates in your data. Both of these leverage the schema drift capability and the generic patterns of data flows so you don't need to identify any specific columns in these patterns you can just add these to any data flow and they will work all right so let me show you how to do that let's go back to my data flow and we'll start by adding a source this this part i will do manually from the graph i'm going to add in my movies uh, database which is a csv file of movies with titles years genres and ratings and then let's say that i want to go and i want to add in let's say i want to um, get rid of duplicates add a little distinct rows in there so i'll go to the library page here and I will click on distinct row using all columns and I'll copy that and then I'll go back to my data flow and I will click on the script button. So the script button over here will give you the script that lays behind the graph. This designer generates this script here. You can also generate the script yourself manually. You can type in here. This has IntelliSense in it. It has autocomplete and it also um, is available through our API. You could always generate these data flows with using the script through the API. So I'm just going to paste in what I put on my um, on my clipboard from the documentation. Now, the uh, what I need to do in addition to pasting that is I need to hook these things together. I need to tell Data Factory what is the input, the incoming stream for that uh, transformation I just added from the library. So the name of the uh, outgoing or the previous transformation is here, the tilde greater than, and it's called source1. So all I'll do is go to the very beginning of that paste, and I'll type in source1 space. And like I said, there is IntelliSense and autocomplete here, so you will be able to start typing source, and you'll see the name. And I can just hit tab to autocomplete that. That's all I need to do. Let's go ahead and click OK on this. And there it is. It added that transformation for me into my data flow. Okay, let's go ahead and let's go into that and let's test that. Let's make sure that so we do have distinct rows. Now the way it's creating, the way it's doing distinct rows, if I go back to the documentation quick, I'll show you, is that it is uh, using the, the aggregate transformation and it's using the function within that um, aggregate of pulling out just the first occurrence of every duplicate by grouping by. Now the group by is pulling all columns from your data and this is fully schema drift. So columns will give you every incoming column it doesn't matter you don't need to name the columns explicitly it's using SHA-2 as a way to hash and create a fingerprint for all the columns and this fingerprint print pattern is also part of our snippet library up here under create row hash fingerprint so we're just leveraging that capability so let's go back and let's look at our results there's the fingerprint and now we're identifying every distinct row taking out the duplicates Okay, now let's do another, let's use another one of these um, snippets and let's go ahead and let's pull out the um, check for nulls in all the columns. Again, this is going to use the columns function within this time and conditional split transformation. So we're going to copy this and let's paste that into the script. So click on the script button. There's a script behind the graph. We we'll paste that in there. Now, uh, remember I said earlier that you need to identify the incoming stream for that transformation that you pasted in there. I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to leave that blank because I want to show you that you can uh, still work with the data flow even if you have not identified that incoming stream and you can simply apply that incoming stream here in the uh, designer. So in the graph I'm just going to click on that transformation I just added. I'm going to choose the incoming stream as distinct rows. I could have done it from the script but I did, did want to show you that you can also do that here from the designer as well. You may find that easier and that works just fine as well. So now I have this conditional split that is looking for nulls across all of my columns. On my data preview, I will show you that um, for this transformation in my data, my movies data, I do not have any columns with or any rows with any columns that have nulls in it. So this has nulls, is not going to bring back any data. I will then just switch over to the no nulls 
stream and you'll see that I, I have no nulls in my data. And there you go. So let's do one more. I'll show you real quick another snippet. Let's go ahead and grab, uh, let's take the um, do, 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 do. aggregated summary stats is a good one. So let's take this and we'll add summary stats, profile stats into our data as well. So I'm just going to go to the no nulls because I know that that is the, uh, the output because I have no nulls in my data. So what I'll do is I'll hit enter, give myself a new line, paste in that snippet. I'm going to attach that to this look for nulls. Okay, so I start typing in look for nulls. Look for nulls, there it is. Now there's two paths, the conditional split has nulls and no nulls. I know that I have no nulls, so I will say no nulls. I'm just gonna copy and paste that right there and click OK. And there you go, I have a complete data flow now, including summary stats, without designing anything, without putting anything new. I'm just reusing code that is in our snippet library. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching.